Let's look at the process of downloading neutral format files or even proprietary CAD files. If I go to McMaster Car, I see that I have an option of downloading an e-drawing that isn't really of any use. That's a graphics file. An iGIS file may be useful. A PDF file won't be useful. An SAT file won't be useful in Autodesk products unless it was saved as version SAT version 7 or earlier. A SOLIDWORKS file can be opened in Inventor and a step file can be opened in Inventor. I think my order of preference would be SOLIDWORKS. If that didn't work, I would do step. If that didn't work, I would do IGIS. And then the SAT would be fine as long as it was version 7 or earlier. So if I go and download each of these file types and if I right click on the SAT version and I'll open that with Notepad, I see that this is ASUS version 19. So Autodesk products are not going to open this because it was later than version 7. So ASUS won't be usable or SAT so I'll just delete that version. Alright so I'm going to do the solid part, the SOLIDWORKS file, then I'll do the STEP file, and then I'll do the IGIS last. So I'll go to Inventor, and before I open up the file, I'm going to go to Tools, Application Options, and on the Part tab, I'm going to check mark this Enable Construction Environment, and we'll see why in a few minutes. Alright, then I'm going to go back and open up the first file, so I'll go to my folder where I have those files, and I'll tell it to look for all file types, and I'll open open up the SOLIDWORKS solid PRT file. When I do that, I am given an option of opening as a reference or convert to model. Let's tell it to convert to model and then there may be some surface bodies in the SOLIDWORKS file so I'm going to tell it to bring in both solids and surfaces. Now some people get confused on this, they think, oh, I only want surfaces, or I only want solids, so I'm going to uncheck surfaces. But that filters out any surfaces that might be in the model, so we'll bring in both of those, and in some case, we might want some of these other options as well. And then I have a choice of bringing that in uh, as individual, as composite, or bring it into construction. Now, I normally bring it into construction, but I'm going to tell it individual here. If to, it will bring in, if it's surfaces, it'll bring it in as individual uh, surfaces. So I'll select that on individual. I'll say OK. And so over here, I see that I have solid bodies. This symbol, the yellow block, lets me know that I have solid bodies. And then this folder says solid bodies 3. So I know that I have solid bodies. I might want to right click on this solid body. And I'll do repair bodies. And I'll tell it to find any errors. And I'll tell it to select all. We'll say OK. And it puts a green check mark there letting me know that that part passed quality check. I may do that for each one so I'll do repair bodies for the next body, find errors, select all, say OK and that one passed quality check and I'll do the last one so I'll do I'll do repair bodies, find any errors and get a green check mark so I know that those solid bodies have a uh, passed quality check. Alright so that was one way of bringing it in the SOLIDWORKS native file. I'm then going to open up the step file. So I'll open up step. Again, I'll tell it I want surfaces and solids. I'll tell it to convert to model. And so we see uh, here are our solid bodies. Again, three solid bodies. And again, I would do repair bodies on each of these solid bodies. Next, let's look at opening up the uh, IGIS file. Open IGIS. Again, I'll tell it solids and surfaces. But here, down here where it says surfaces individual, I'm going to tell it to stitch together the surfaces. So I'll select stitch and I'll say OK to that. And when I do, I see the, the solid bodies here. And again, I would run those through repair. But let's open up this one other way. So I'm going to open the file again. But this time, when I, when I select the IGIS, I'm going to open up the IGIS again. But this time, instead of stitching it together, so stitched it, when I selected stitch, that stitched my individual surfaces into solids. Now I'm going to leave this on either individual or composite. I'm going to put it on individual. Actually, let's put it on composite. Uh, so I'll say OK to that. And when I do, I see that it's brought that in as one composite. Or if I had brought it in with individual surfaces, there would be a whole list of surfaces here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy this to construction. And then I'm going to delete the original. So I will delete the original and I'll come up here to construction. I'll double click on construction. So this is a way of repairing 
if you had anything that was uh, not good quality. So sometimes we need to right click first and unstitch, but these have already been unstitched. I will then uh, run a quality check on these surfaces, make sure that there's no issues. I get a green check mark. I will then stitch these together until I'll tell it to st I'll stitch all those together. And now notice it says solid bodies three. I will then right click and I'll do copy object and I'll tell it I want to bring those into the modeling environment. Is either one solid or as multiple solid bodies delete the construction environment. And so again, I see here are my solid bodies. They pass quality check. So that's how to open up individual uh, neutral format files or SolidWorks files in Inventor.